So Darko, congratulations. Big victory, first round knockout. Yeah, thank you. That, could it really go any better than it did or do you feel that there's something you could have improved on even more? This is great, but I want to always uh, do better. And uh, this is my first fight, first victory. I want to be here. Uh, this is my dream and that's it. And did you feel sort of pressure or like were you nervous at all? Because obviously no. there is a difference between the UFC and the rest of it. I'm uh, never n nervous. Uh, I'm going to fight, uh, relax. I'm, uh, I have a... Poverene. He have confidence yeah. in himself. Yeah, and that's it. I'm, uh, I have good preparation with my team, with Mirko Filipovic and Stipe Drvish and my team from Serbia. So that's it. I'm, I'm, I want to be number one, and that's that's my that's my goal. I want to make history for my people, my country, and that's it. Can you talk a little bit about your preparation? Obviously, Mirko Krokov is yeah. a big star. Yeah. Um, you know, what kind of help does he give you? What kind of inspiration <laughs> is he for you? Mirko is a legend and uh, my good friend, and I want to say uh, thank you to him. Uh, he, he is a strong guy, he is a legend, and uh, we do a lot of sparring, and uh, that's helped me a lot. And uh, the finish, uh, it was almost a little bit strange, like, it, you hit him with one shot and he yeah. turned right away. Were you yeah. surprised yeah. at how, how quickly he yeah, came up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gave him uh, one shot, and I saw that uh, he already <laughs> um, a little bit asleep, so I, I do the finish easy and that's it. You told the uh, top ten to get ready for you. Yeah. Is there any uh, opponents in mind? Anyone that you have your eye on? No, this is small. This is small beginning, and I want to uh, say uh, big things right now. I don't know, but uh, I'm here to be number one, and uh, I must uh, fight with top ten fighters. So in the near future, I will fight them, and that's it. I I must beat him, <laughs> and them. <laughs> And uh, when would you like to get back in there again? A few months. I want to rest now and with a uh, few months I'll be back. And do you feel like you're going to be the new face of Serbian MMA? For sure. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of support when it comes to fans yeah. all over uh, the arena. I wanted to ask uh, whether was it terrible for you that when you were in the cage that uh, did you feel this support that you have here in Hamburg? Yeah, I feel uh, I feel uh, a big support, and um, so uh, yeah, this surprised him. You know yeah. that a lot of people coming from uh, yeah. for him, you know, to support him. You know, because it's it's far away, Serbia. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. not close. It's a small country. It's, it's 100, yeah. uh, 1,600 kilometers yeah. from Belgrade to Hamburg. You know. Yeah, and people come uh, all around uh, the Europe, uh, from uh, Vienna, Serbia, Croatia, uh, Montenegro. Germany, Switzerland, all around uh, the Europe. And take, I want to say thank you to my fans and the people who s support me. So would you prefer to uh, fight in Europe more than all over the world? Or what are your plans for the fighting when it for, comes to UFC? Yeah, for me, it's uh, good to fight in Europe because uh, uh, change uh, it's not uh, you he don't have jet lag yeah, you know yeah, the yeah. time zone yeah. is the same you know it's, it's good for him but if I fight with top 10 fighters probably I must go to to America and this this is my business and my my job and that's it thank you very much thank you.